how to fix a budget in the early stage of the project? What if the fixed budget value doesn't sufficient uh, or become excess after completion? How do we guess? Uh, how do we guess correctly? Yeah. So, as you rightly said, it's a guessing game. Yeah, and how do you improve your guess by keep including the variability or the problems or the learning you are getting over a period of time? So you keep playing this guessing game all the time. Now, from a PMP exam perspective, if I have to answer it, let me try to plot something as well along with uh, speaking here. Okay, so here I can say that I am starting a project. So in the beginning of my project, I need to do some amount of estimation. And this time, this kind of estimate, estimation is many times called rough order of magnitude estimate. Because people want to know, as a business case, we want to know, does it worth investing this much money here? So we need to give some amount of estimation here. Organization may have a acceptable error range for this. Now, how do they, do they identify that acceptable range? Depending upon the uncertainty they, they are dealing with, the experience and the type of work you are estimating. So if you have been doing this work for a while, you have better guess. If you are doing it first time, you have a poor guess, but you will have an acceptable level in your organization. And then you start working and you start talking about scope or start sprinting. You run few iterations in case of agile way of working. And maybe after some time, you again estimate. You can say, okay, now we have some understanding Let's figure it out. Now, organization will expect less error from you. They will say, guys, you have been working on it. Now you must have validated some assumptions based on it. Then you go further, you keep estimating, and hopefully till end, you will always have an error, but those error, will, error range will start reducing. This thing is called cone of uncertainty in your project management language. We are seeing the uncertainty cone is expected to shrink as we move forward. Now, somebody will say, what if, if what we estimated early was X and by the time you reach here, it becomes 3X from where the money will come? Yeah, Who will give it? No, it's not your alone job. On various stages, you are expected to keep stakeholder informing, how are we doing? And maybe when it becomes 3X, your stakeholder may want to check their ROI again and they will say, guys, this doesn't look uh, attractive investment anymore. Better we kill this. Or they believe, okay, doesn't matter. We are going to get 100x out of it. Anyway, we were thinking of doing it in X, but it's okay, even if it, it takes 3x, we continue working with that. Now, what do I do as a project manager? My role is at any point in time, estimation, we involve right people and we do best guess by involving right expertise in the context of doing estimation. If you have a more details, less details, whatever is the stage of estimation, we put an appropriate number there. And we have an agreement on a tent, uh, error range, which organization expect, and accordingly we estimate that. And we keep revisiting. Many times as a project manager, and even the PMP exam, the problem is we say, oh, we have spent more money, but we don't forecast how our end budget will look like or end time will look like. So as a project manager, Whenever I am telling I'm spending more money, I need to give some forecast also. And based on all this, I bring it to my stakeholders. They will take a call. It's not my business. I am not the one who started this project. They wanted something to get done. My job is meeting the stakeholder wishes by keeping everything transparent and doing the best judgment to the organization resources, using them very, very efficiently and keeping the stakeholder always updated. So that's my job, which I do, and that's what we learn in our project management.